Hi, thank you for watching my video clip. Today, I'd like to talk about souvenirs, especially foods in Japan. I'm sure that you will buy some souvenirs for your family and friends as well as for yourself when you come to Japan. Don't you want to buy Made in Japan products, especially when you buy foods in nice tourist spots? Well, there's a very high probability that you will buy foreign-made products without realizing everywhere in Japan. A great portion of processed foods sold in Japan are actually produced in Asian countries other than Japan because Japan is a high labor cost country and moreover its food self-sufficiency ratio based on calories is as low as about 40 percent. It has to be said that Japan relies on imports for the majority of its food. But if you are a tourist, that's a whole different story. I myself want to buy Made in Japan products when I travel around Japan too. Japan definitely needs Chinese food stuff, as well as other countries, but companies has been seriously affected by the past problems involving Chinese food safety. So what they did was omitting the phrase made in China. Today I give you a lesson on how to distinguish 100% made in Japan products from unclear ones. I teach you the simplest yet accurate method so that even children can practice it. First, you must understand the meanings of three words. All of them are always followed by Japanese addresses. The first one is pronounced seizousha. It means manufacturer. And whenever you see this on the processed food, its actual producer is in Japan. The second one is pronounced hanbaisha. It means vendor. The information on the actual producer is purposely hidden. In this case, we cannot tell whether the product is made in Japan or not, but in many cases, it is not. Number three is pronounced kakosha. It means processor. The information on the actual producer is purposely hidden. In this case, we cannot tell whether the product is made in Japan or not, but in many cases, it is not. This is a misleading word. In Japan, a processor is neither a manufacturer nor producer. For instance, if someone in Japan imports a large quantity of candies and repackage into smaller sizes to sell, then he is called a processor. These words are sometimes used in combination. You don't have to write them, but just become discriminating of these three words whenever you see them on food labels in Japan. Let's practice.
Okay, two more words to go. Number one is pronounced kokusan. It means domestically produced. And whenever you see this on the processed food, its actual producer is in Japan. Number two is pronounced nihonse. It means made in Japan. And whenever you see this on the processed food, its actual producer is in Japan. These two are sometimes used in combination with the three words previously mentioned. Let's practice. Again, you don't have to write them, but just become discriminating of these two words whenever you see them on food labels in Japan. Okay, if you have more time now, try your ability in a more realistic way. Watch the parts of my past video clips listed next and guess whether the products were made in Japan or unclear. Pause this video now and restart when you are done. How did it come out? I hope you've done well. For completeness, I show you one last word. This word is pronounced yunusha. It means importer. And whenever you see this on the processed food, its actual producer is not in Japan. Here are some examples. That's all for today. See you next time.